Maki Matibule says she never depended on anyone to survive, except herself. She makes and sells acha, a kind of mango pickle. All along their street, parties and politicians are vying for the Matibule family vote. People who are in charge now, they're just making things worse. The, the politicians, they get rich as we get poor. There is nothing to do for us. Nelson Mandela represented the possibilities of a free South Africa. Voting lines stretched for blocks in 1994. The first democratic election held the promise of a better future. Now millions of born frees, South Africans born after the apartheid regime ended, haven't even registered to vote in this election. Are you going to vote? Hell no. 25 years on, and around half of young people are jobless. Much of the black majority is stuck in a poverty trap, kept there in part by rampant government corruption. By some estimates, South Africa has become the most unequal nation on earth. No, I'm not going to vote. Why not? Uh, I've survived without voting, man. Young South Africans like designer Wilson Nembe didn't see apartheid firsthand. Okay. Just check it out. Their struggles are with the new uh, South Africa. Uh, as a born free, maybe there were, we were promised mansions. I don't know that. Do you have a mansion? I don't have a mansion. And are you voting this year? No. Since I was born, I voted for Mandela owns. And no more voting again. And until they see real change in Alex, the Matibules will never cast another ballot. David McKenzie, CNN, Alexandra, South Africa.